Hi, I'm Brad Hess with MBA Corporation. Today I'm going to talk about the Instinct Solar Boilers and pump placement in the application with an indirect fired water heater. So we have two pumps. This is our boiler pump, which also runs for the system pump for heating. And over here we have our indirect pump, which will run when there is a call or a demand for domestic hot water. So what's very important with these two pumps is that they each have an internal check valve installed which comes with the Grunfoss pump. This pump will only run in a call for heat from either a thermostat or an end switch from a switch and relay. This pump will only run when there's a call from an aquastat or if there is a call from the uh, sensor that comes with the boiler because this can control the uh, temperature for the indirect water heater. So let's talk about where these actually get tied into. Right here are our, are our output terminals. The top one will be your domestic hot water. The one below it will be CH pump, which is your boiler pump. And then we have our, our uh, dry contacts, which one will be for the domestic hot water aquastat or boiler sensor, or in, I'm sorry, indirect sensor. And then this one is a CH1 stat, and this can be either from a switching relay or from a thermostat. It is very important to note that this is a DC controlled system and there is not 24 volts on board. Well, I hope that helps and thank you for your time.